today I'm going to be a seascape located at Heisner Park here in Laguna Beach. And I did a sketch there this morning, looking at the light and the shapes that are in the scene looking south. That's what I work from rather than a photograph because I'm not an illustrator trying to put in all the detail. I'm an impressionist trying to capture the color and the feeling of the light. And the beauty of painting outdoors is that each day has a different shade and color to the light and more shadows or less shadows depending on how much sun there is involved. Each time you go there, you get a different painting. Light and shadow on interesting shapes in one sentence is what my style of painting is all about, which is what I will now go ahead and do. And the drawing will be the silhouette outline of the shapes that are in this particular scene. So now we've got a sky shape, a mountain shape in the distance, a cliff shape in the middle ground, and an oval shape here in the foreground. The crux of this painting is these shapes. The colors that I'm using here are two blues, two yellows, and two reds. This will be the underpainting for the scene, putting spots of color on the interesting shapes. Cooler colors in the distance and warmer colors coming forward. I can see that from my color note in the morning, the sunlight is a soft yellow. And there was a grayish purplish cloud over here on the right side, on the mountain, that this ultramarine blue, and I'm using diagonal brush strokes for the hill in the distance because it's a slanted plane. Well, there's the cool blue in place in the deeper water. Now in the shallow water, it gets greenish, bluish color. I put a little bit of that yellow light and white in the shallower water, brushing it in to give it a reflective quality of what's going on in the sky and into the landscape. Now the basic spots of color are in place. Taking a smaller brush, I can now begin the finishing touches on the paint. So I'm taking away the sharp edges and making them soft and blending the sky color. Now for these rocks, you start using grays. The light grays to make the painting of sea, and the warmer grays being used to make shapes come forward. This part of the painting is in shadow. This part of the painting is in light. And the contrast creates the drama. And coming in from the side here with a diagonal brush stroke, and over here it's more of a vertical brush stroke to draw the eye into the painting versus just doing a horizontal brush stroke which takes the eye off the painting. Now I'm putting some light from the sky along the coastline here to give it an atmospheric effect. This cliff will have some darker gray on the rocks at the base where it's getting less light from the sun and it will be a little lighter on the top of the cliff where it's getting more light from the sun. In front of the cliff, we will use some yellow and white for the foam, and we apply this color just like frosting, very thickly and with horizontal brush strokes. That's capturing the impression of the seascape this morning that I saw. This is a post-it. To a painting.